In this video, I'm going to discuss about binding energy. Assume that V select an atom from a periodic table. Specifically, we focus on nucleus, which contains protons and neutrons, or nucleons. If we apply a certain amount of energy to this nucleus, we are able to break apart this nucleus into its constituent particles or neutrons and protons. As you see here, nucleus contains four protons and three neutrons. And we apply energy and then we get isolated particles on the right hand side. We may think the mass of the total mass of nucleus on the left hand side should be the same as same mass of the right hand side, but it's not true because the mass of right hand side is more than the mass of the total mass of nucleus. If we show the total mass of nucleus by m nuke and the total mass of the isolated particle isopar, then this guy is greater than m nuke. We have here a mass difference, which is called mass defect, shown by delta m, which is mass isopar minus mass nuke. In this example, we have three protons and uh, four protons and three neutrons. Therefore, mass of isolated particles is equal four multiplied by mass of protons plus three multiplied by mass of neutrons. Okay, then this mass defect, how it can connect it with energy, this energy that we applied here, it can be connected to the energy through the Einstein mass energy equation. Energy equal mass defect multiplied by speed of light square. The unit of this energy is joule, the unit of mass defect is kilogram, and the unit of sound speed, light speed is meter per second. Okay, this amount of energy created by the mass defect is called binding energy. Therefore, binding energy is the amount of energy a nucleus requires in order to break apart into its constituent particles. In order to calculate the binding energy, we need to do, to perform two steps. First, calculate mass defect of nucleus, and then calculate the binding energy using the Einstein mass energy equation. Before working on few examples, I just remind you some units for convergence. In atomic scales, we use instead of kilogram for mass, we use atomic mass unit or AMU. One AMU is equal to 1.66 times 10 to the power of minus 27 kilogram. And as you have seen in the calculation of the, uh, the isolated particle mass, we need to know the mass of neutrons and protons mass of neutrons and protons are roughly the same. However, 
massive neutrons when is slightly larger than mass of proton as shown here by these values first example calculate binding energy of helium 4 in mega electron volt we know the atomic mass of helium 4 or atomic mass of helium 4 is 4.0015 AMU. To calculate the mass defect, we have here two protons and two neutrons minus mass, atomic mass of helium 4. If we calculate this, the mass defect become in kilogram become this value. Amount of energy is then become four point fifty three eight seventy seven times 10 to the power of minus 12 joule. Calculate the energy in mega electron volt. Electron volt is a tiny, uh, uh, tiny value, tiny unit. One electron volt is roughly about 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 joule. And one mega is equal to 10 to the power of six. Therefore, one mega electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 13 joule. If we plug in here the, the values, we get the amount of energy, binding energy, around 7.983 mega electron volt. Second example, calculate binding energy of uranium 238 in mega electron volt. We know the atomic mass of uranium 238 is this value as given here. Number of protons, as we see here, is 92, and therefore number of neutrons is 146. First step is to calculate mass defect which is equal number of proton multiply mass of proton plus number of neutrons multiply mass of neutrons minus the total atomic mass of uranium 238. If we calculate this, the value becomes 1.937 AMU. The second step is to calculate binding energy using Einstein mass energy relationship. In that sense, we get third question, calculate the binding energy of carbon 12 in mega electron volt. The atomic mass of carbon 12 is 12 AMU. Here we know number of protons is equal to six, number of neutrons equal also to six. Therefore, the first step, mass defect is equal, number of protons multiply mass of proton plus number of neutrons multiply mass of neutrons 
minus the total mass of carbon 12. 1.643 times 10 to the minus 28 kilogram. If we calculate the binding energy here, it's become 1.4787 multiply 10 to the minus 11 joule. 